JZ Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you another video. Today I'm be gonna be showing you how to make your own outro with a GIMP. It's a web. Um, the link of the website will be down below. I'll show you it now. Let me just load up my browser here. It's GIMP. Yep. GIMP. Dot org. Let this just load up. Oh, YouTube not responding. I'll try to do this. Gimp.org. So yeah, Gimp.org. It will bring you to this website. Gimp, G-N-U image. Yeah, you click download 2.8.22. Then you do this one. Download Gimp 2.8.22 directly. Not this one, but this one. And yeah, once you're done that, I've already downloaded it, so I won't do it. But once you're done that, you're going to install it. But when you're done that whole thing, you just get rid of the browser for now. You're going to go on to it. And you're going to do file new. Oh, oh, what? File new. And then this thing you're going to type in. 1920 by 1080 for your outro. 1920. Oh. Do this by 1080, and then you're gonna click this little thing here, advanced options. And you're gonna change this to 300. So you just do that, and you press enter. See, and then you click OK, and there's your little screen. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get the um, lines to help us. So you go to guides, you go to new guides by percentage, and you change this horizontal or vertical, whichever one you want. But you're going to be doing both, so it doesn't really matter. So there's the line for the first one. Let me go to guides, new by percentage, and a vertical. And there's the other one. Okay, first thing you do is get the box. And then just get two option, tool options up, just to help you like. And you're going to make bake in this spot. Actually, wait, no, you're not. I just did something wrong there. You go to open as layer, and you get a background. I'm just going to be using... Just go up to a background really quickly. Just get one. Uh, let me just load up Google here. Google. Huh? Google. So, hold on, you can. Yeah. And just see um, a blue gradient. Actually, wait, no. I'm cheesy, so it should be yellow. Yellow gradient. D and oh, my mouse is going crazy. Yellow gradient background, but it has to be 1920 by 1080. Just say this one, it looks really cool. You click on it. Oh, what happened there? You click on it, you right click if you're, then you go save picture as if you're on Microsoft um, Edge. Then you just rename it to whatever you want. I made it, I made like a thing for this, I made like an actual like thing. Um, go to outro. It won't work. Say video, video, then you go to say, um, outro. Then you click enter. Then you go back to GIMP. And you load it in. So you go to desktop. What's it? No. What did I put into? Oh, I know. I went to video pad projects. And then I did channel. No. Where is it? There it is. I think. Yeah, that's it. And go open. Once you find yours, then you click this little tool here to scale it. Scale to scale the layer. And you click on this and you scale it as big as you want i'm gonna do the full thing let me just see now let me just scale it down to there i think that's good yeah that's perfect let me just do this one a bit more and this one a bit more up a bit more and down a bit more so they don't overlap 
and then click scale. Once it's done. Next you're gonna be adding in actually wait, next you do the new layer and you just click OK. And you're gonna be adding in a box, which so you would go to this tool and you would fill in as much boxes as you want. So say this size. Then you get the black colour and you get this fill in tool. And yeah, that's good. Now you fill this thing in. And boom, there's your box for your video. Next, you add another new layer. And you're going to be added in your name for your Instagram or whatever, like your things, your social media. So you go to file, open as layer. You download, you download them onto your thing, onto your desktop so you can get them. Outro. And where was it? Should be here. So I just need to find it. There it is. Instagram. So guys, I'm just going to skip that one. I'm going to be doing the Twitter first. Okay, so you click that. Then you would scale it. To wherever you want. Scale. Guys, I'm sorry, this is messing with my head. I don't know what's going on. It worked ages ago. So open. Then you would grab this tool to move it. Oh, no, see what I mean? You would grab this tool to move it to wherever you want. Then you use this tool to scale it. There we go, it's working now. So you scale it to whatever size you want, like this. I'm just gonna scale it to this size. I'm gonna add it in exactly where the line is and scale. Okay, and next you add text. So you go there and you add your whatever you want. You drag this box as big as you can and as big as you want, I should say. And now it should be at. I'll just put my Twitter in. Cheesy underscore. Gaming point three. Then you highlight it. So basically this. Then you make it as big as thirty five, which I always use, which is a really good. Then you go to red or whatever color you want. Then boom, you're done. Then you click this, put it into the exact place you want, and boom. You go file, open as layer, get the Instagram. Then you move it down to wherever you want. I'll just move it there for now, just to scale it. And you click this, and you go to the scale tool. Sorry if you hear background noise. Oh, no, click the wrong thing. And then you can move it to wherever you want. Make it even smaller, just so it fits in right. Okay, there, then you click scale, boom, there, and then your Instagram, there, Instagram, yeah, oh, no, wrong place, yeah, and then you drag the box out, the same way, and you write in your Instagram name, basically, which is cheesy games 56 oh, no, that's 556 56 then you highlight, you go to 35, and you change the colour to whatever colour you want. I'm going to just do red because it blends in really, really nice. <gasps> Did that not save? Oh no. Oh, I have to write that in again. Cheesy Games 56. Guys, comment down below if I should use this as my outro. I already have one. But if you want me to use this, then that's okay. Because I will, if you want me to. Oh, no, wrong thing. And then you right, put that right there. And then, this is what I'm going to do for mine. 
you don't have to, it's your choice. I'm just gonna be adding a little cool thing. I'm gonna say, okay, this is what I'm gonna say for mine. Like, comment, and subscribe to to like comment and subscribe yeah that's all because you don't want to be too much of it you don't want to have um there that's basically that's basically it done guys you just move this oh no see what i mean by that Good to have it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Then you go to this. Is what I'm gonna do? It's almost the end of the video, so I'm gonna add this, and I'm gonna put it here. Then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna open this layer. And I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna grab this. See how cool that looks? And then do that for the same for the like. And um, do that for the same like and comment. I'll show you when it's, when it's done and what it looks like. Okay guys, I just want to remind you, and um, mine will look weirder when, when it's done because I'm going to be rotating. This is how you rotate by the way. Wait, let me just move this. So, it doesn't get in the way. Okay, this is how you rotate it. So you click this tool beside the scale tool. You click on the thing you want to rotate. And you do this, you turn it like that. And then once it's rotated perfectly the way you want, I'm just going to do it evenly. There we go. You can put it wherever you want, as I said. So, see there. And then the last is the like button, which you should smash, by the way, in this. If you actually enjoyed the video, you should smash that like button. Let me just find the like button now. Really hard to find things. You know what guys, I'm just going to download a new one so I don't have to go through that all that time. I'm just going to say like but oh I thought I spelled it wrong for a second I was like no I'm going to be embarrassed. But anyways just see this like button and go save picture as then you go to whatever fold you want to put it in and just say here and you literally just click save that's all you do like if you're using microsoft edge then you go open as image and you go to where's the like button yeah there it is then you move it you scale it down to a, the size you want basically this and then you're gonna add the other arrow in basically the same arrow which i think looks pretty cool just, it out a bit just to make it even and boom guys and, th and this is how you save it by the way yeah you click export not save as but export i'm gonna save it in video pad project i'm just gonna name it what should i name it say youtube outro and guys now i'll show you something export and you click export and um, you click all of these you click save save gamma and into adam 2 you click export once that's all of them are clicked and there will be exporting yeah 
just wait until the bed explodes. But poor thing, you have to wait or else it won't save. And once it's exported, it'll look like this. Now I'll just exit out of this. And you click save as here as well. You go to video pad project. And then you click, and then you click save as well. And boom. There's it done guys. I'm going to exit out of everything. Look guys. It, oh yeah, I forgot to show you. I'm sorry. Um, there it is. Then you go to um, video pad project. Okay. Click. Okay, the side. Is it? Do you want me? Do you want it to be this one? Wait until this lowers. This one, which I think looks really, really good. Or do you want it to be this one, which also looks really, really good? Guys, you decide down below in the comments. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. If we get 10 likes, I'll be the happiest person ever. But anyways, cheese and pub, keep calm, stay cheesy, cheesy out. when it works.